morning, everybody. Sherry here with coffee and canvas. Do, do a couple extra ones this week. We'll do the sea glass mermaid this morning. Let's see who's on. So today what I'm going to do is show you how to build the sea glass mermaid, how to paint her, how we do the sea glass, and then show you how I do the resin. Also the kits will be available and I'm going to show you a couple of the things that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway during this live. Everyone loves our coffee mugs. So we have this coffee mug we'll be giving away today. Every time you comment, say something, I'm going to put you in the drawing. And also anyone who shares this video gets into the drawing. So I put this as public so we can share these. How's everybody doing? Morning, morning, glad you're here. So what we're, what's coming up is we're gonna be doing a lot of traveling and teaching. I've been invited to go to New Jersey. We're gonna be going to the Cayman Islands in March. The New Jersey one is going to be in November, November 11th through the 14th. We have lots of fun things lined up. And I just wanna show you some of the projects we're gonna be doing. It's four days. Two classes a day, you can purchase them individual or you can come for the whole four days and we'll have a special price for that. Can everybody hear me okay out there? So one of the things we'll be doing is the Glaster piece, which everybody loves. And when I say Glaster piece, it doesn't have to be the exact thing I show you. We have lots of different designs. So this is everybody's favorite. Isn't that beautiful? That'll be a class. Ooh, ah. This is a pumpkin I just did. How pretty is that? So you can, you'll get the glass, you'll get all the different trinkets around the room and you can design whatever you want. And that's one of the workshops that we do here, but we'll also be doing this in New Jersey the week of November 11th. We're gonna be doing this as a three foot board. Isn't that beautiful? And it's especially priced at only $75. I charge 150 here. So it's half the price at the workshops in New Jersey, November 11th that week. We're also gonna be doing this one. Are you ready? She is so cute. She's our mer baby. And we'll be having her up as a kit as well. We'll be doing her, but she's two foot when we do her. And you can personalize her any way. And that's coming up in the November workshops in Jersey with Mary Lou. And then this, we'll be doing this one. This is a two foot surfboard. Isn't that pretty? We just love her. You learn how to paint her, how to build her, how to apply everything, how to do the resin. And things will be available so that you can purchase other um, supplies so that we can go home and make more. These make great Christmas presents. So you might as well have fun getting your Christmas done this year. So this is another thing we'll be doing and it's that stained glass lantern I told you about. Some of you have ordered it already and you'll be doing all four pieces and then putting them together as a, as a lantern. And then we'll also be doing the Christmas tree glaster piece. Look how cute and an 8 by 10. I'm the only one here today, so I'm not on, so I don't have to keep moving the camera. How are you guys doing, okay? We'll also be doing the tea towel, and there's lots of designs you can pick from. There'll be holiday tea towels, and then, the re and then we'll also have pillows. You can choose to make a pillow or a tea towel or both. And again, there's special pricing for all that. You go under my events, I listed them, and they're all up for sale on the website, and the, the link is right there. So, so don't forget... Giveaway to today is going to do a coffee mug. Everyone's loving these big mugs. So every time you comment and share this video at the end, and we'll put you in again. So this is what we do when we make these mermaids. This mermaid is also a kit online. You get instructions, the 12 inch cutout, the sea glass and the starfish, and it's only $25. If you want the paint kit, it's eight colors that come with this and it's only $24. And that's right there, you can message me and I can give you the link or it's sherrysartstudio.com. Just so you know ahead of time, that's available for you guys. I also have extra ones. If you wanna teach a class on this, get in touch with me. These are only $7 extra. So if you wanna purchase the kit but you want extra ones, just message me and I'll make sure that you get them because these are great gifts for the holidays and they're so fun to make, wait till you see. So I'm gonna put these to the side and you put anything in our hands. So see here I put a seashell, here I did the starfish, you could put a piece of jewelry. There's so many different things that you could do. Hey everybody, how are ya? Okay, I really can't see the comments while I'm painting because the video's down, but I'll read them after and then answer you guys. 
So I pre-base coated my mermaid, so you didn't have to sit and watch paint dry, because you know how I hate that. So you'll get your wood mermaid, you'll paint her, half is parchment, the other half, whatever color you want. Now also when you're ordering your kits, remember there's different color sea glasses. There's the red, there's the teal, there's also a navy blue. Tell me what color you want and I could send it out to you. And you, get, you get a nice big, nice size bag with it. You don't really use all this. You can start collecting your own sea glasses for other projects, which is fun. So we have our little sea glass bin right here. How fun is that? I love the sea glass. And starfish, and starfish. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're gonna, the hardest part of her is getting that arm. See the arm there? There's, you don't have it and you want to try to get that with shading. Shading around her body. And when you do her hair, you want to make sure you don't go too close to this curve here because that's what makes her so cute, her little butts in the air. And you can personalize the hair color. And in the instructions, it tells you how to get the, the blonde hair, how to get the brunette, and how to get the red. Today I'm going to do something even different that I've done before so that we have another fourth one that you can choose from and it also will have all your paint colors. Okay, so what I do is I take real brown. I'm not used to doing this by myself here. I take real brown. You don't need very much of it. I take floating medium. I have all the dogs outside so hopefully it'll be quiet today. I take my brush. Oops. I go into my medium, which you really can't see there. I mix it into my brush. Come over to my pure brown and side load it just a little, little tiny bit. A little dab will do you. Then I come over by my arm and you want to make that arm by forming it up and then I come back down. Now if you make it too dark, which sometimes I do, then I just put the parchment right back over it. And then I just want to shade all around her hands. I'm shaking a little bit too much coffee today. See that, how it just brings her to life? And you don't have to worry about up here, that's her hair is gonna cover all that. And then I go behind her arm, a little more depth, and then around her body. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, ah. It's hard being here alone, I'm so used to having the class in front of me, talking to people. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah? So, that's, that's how I get her arm in there. Nice and easy, right? Easy peasy. And then brush some brown through to get her, I'd like her to be a little bit tan. And that's all you do for the body. Then today I'm gonna make her look like my first, very first painting, Sassy. This is Sassy. And see her hair? It's black and teal and white. So I didn't put that in the packet, so I thought it'd be fun to show you something different that's not in the packet. And it's done mainly with black, midnight, teal, and white. So I'm using pure black, putting pure black, midnight. I love that color, midnight. Oops, a little bit too much. Teal. You know I love this teal color. And these are all the colors that come in your kit. You get eight different colors, and the colors I use all the time. You may already have purchased them in another kit, but if you want them, they're available. And then I use, I always like to do curly hair. But you don't have to, you could do straight hair. I use the, the striper brush, ink-like consistency at the side of my plate, make it flow nice. Stop at the top of the head. Remember, hair grows from the head down, not down up, because you want to get that nice point. And I start, and I still just wiggle right down into the hair. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure you get all your sides, too, because you'll, you'll see all those sides in there. Everybody see that? And I'm just, you're going to build layer and layer. Hair is not one color. Even if you say you just have one color hair, you don't. There's all different levels of a red, of a brown, of a brunette. But see, we're making her a little funky, but watch when I bring her hair down. I don't go near that curve. And I want to keep that pretty arm I made. So I start with the black. This is Sassy's hair, it's like teal and black. A little bit of the midnight. Looks a lot like the black, but it changes when you get the teals in there. See how that starts to build? Ooh, ah that edge. You really want to fill it in with all those colors. And then I take the teal and it picks up the underneath color too so it gives you other colors and that's okay. And I wipe, I wipe the paint off my brush. Don't, don't do any more water. I'm just picking up the paint. Picking up the paint right there with the water ink like consistency and just building it in. 
And before I go to the white, I will wash my brush off. Isn't that pretty? See those colors, how nice these are? I wash my brush off, get that ink-like consistency in the white, and then just pull the white through those colors. And see how it picks up the underneath color? Do you guys think, isn't that pretty? Little girls love these. It's great presents, great shower gifts. They're even great ornaments for the tree. Make a couple of them. You can make them for the top of the tree. What do you guys think? It's a process in building that. So once you get that hair in there, you'll look at it and you can add more black, more teal. I sort of like it on the lighter side, but you could do whichever one you want. But see how that builds really, really quick? So then, but then now the fun part, and everyone was asking me how I do this. And I always like to keep things simple. So why would I glue all this stuff down when I could just take her, put her up on, sorry, she's stuck, put her up on a, a container before you do your resin, whoops. Right, and then you're just going to apply your sea glass. So I'll go through the bit of the sea glass that you guys will get. I put it all out and I'll look for like pointy pieces for the tail. And I want some of this back paint to show through because it just looks like another level of stain of sea glass. And they're like, you put two levels. So don't worry about covering everything. See how I didn't cover everything? You can see the underneath color. When the resin goes on, it makes it real shiny and thick. Put another pointy piece maybe over here. And I just lay down, see how quick it goes? It no matter what I do, it's gonna look good. You guys, I've been, have, I've been MIA a little bit on classes if you're local because my shoulder, I'm going for rotator cuff surgery very soon. Not looking forward to it, but it's gotta get done. So that's like on 10 days, 20, on the 26th. See, I'm just applying that in there. I'm using the blues and the greens. But remember, there's all different colors. You can ask for different colors. Or you can ask for multiple multicolors. So that's pretty too. What do you think? Good? See I'm leaving, whoops. I'm moving her over because she's getting heavy on the one side. And then that's about it. So I just apply that. And then it's time for the resin, which everyone's been asking about the resin. Let's see if I can see questions. I really can't see because you're upside down, but I will answer your questions when I'm all done, okay? So, I love this resin. It's the Artist Resin. We sell it in three different sizes. She needs four ounces of resin to make her look wonderful, okay? So, you would only need one of these. Maybe purchase the kit in an extra mermaid, then you can make two and you're not wasting anything that you bought. If you plan on doing a lot of things with me, which I do a lot of resin stuff, you want to go for the larger size. This is a 32 ounce. And it goes very, very far. I also have the gallon, which is 120. So the 32 is $50, the eight ounces, $30, and then the, other, the large is 120. I always buy the two gallon. We go through a lot of resin around here. Now resin, resin is very, very tricky. You have to be precise in your mixing. You have the resin and then you have an activator. So you have the two different ones. There's a black top and a white top. A lot of times I'm doing a million things at the same time and I'll start to mix and something will happen, I'll have to come back to it and then I'll forget which one I put in. So just for my own good, so I don't forget because I have done this before, I pour the black one first, black top first, and then I pour the white one just so that I know where I am when I'm doing stuff because people start talking to me and I'll forget. So we're gonna go with the black top first and I'm gonna go over to my cup and see that you get these on Amazon and they have the measurements on them right there. I only need four ounces to do her and her paint has to be dry. So in demoing, say I'm not gonna do her hair because it won't be dry enough, but I'm gonna just demo this bottom side of it. And I'll answer all your questions at the end. I'll go online and I'll, I'll type them in because I can't really see them right now. So you have, I have the lines here, you guys see. So I'm gonna do two ounces with the black top one and then up to the four ounces with the other. The other thing, you can have a cup with ridges in it because you won't be able to get all that product out of those ridges when you're mixing it. I never use the same cup twice. Okay, I pour a lot of resin, I don't want to stand there cleaning up stuff. So I get the plastic cups, I use it once, I throw it away. Because if I use it again, there'll always be a little residue at the bottom, you won't get that exact mix. Does that make sense? Now I love this particular resin because it's self-leveling, it doesn't yellow. Hardly ever get bubbles, which I don't mind bubbles because everything I do is ocean inspired and it looks good. But a lot of times you might not want those bubbles. You keep it flat. 
I'm pouring to the two ounces. Getting quiet so I concentrate. Exact to the two. Nice and precise. You never want to waste this stuff. It is expensive, but it goes pretty far. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Then I take the next one, and I'm pouring up to the four. This is a lot of resin. Probably get away with doing more like three, but I like it to be really shiny. You put it up on a cup so it doesn't, because it's going to drip to the sides, and you don't want it to get stuck to your plastic. So this helps it from not getting stuck to anything. It just comes right up. And then you take your stir stick, and you just mix it. Mix and mix and mix. I'm bored here alone. I wish you guys were here with me to create. I'm not used to doing stuff alone. I love my home studio though. And on Wednesday morning, we're gonna be doing the wave. So I'll type up the colors you'll need and the canvas size. And if you guys meet me eight o'clock Wednesday morning, we're gonna try that wave again since I had run out of internet when I was down on the beach. So I'm just mixing it for about one minute See how I'm getting the sides, going to the center. It bubbles up a little. And then just let it set a second. Isn't she gonna be pretty? Now look at the difference. What I do is instead of pouring from the cup, which makes you pour too much that you really don't need that much, I just take my stick and I drizzle over each sea glass. I know you guys got these kits and you're asking me how we do this. And now I don't have to glue it. If you're teaching this in a class, I do it differently. So if there's any teachers out there who want to get the teacher kits to teach us to your students, which they love these, the class is always filled. You want to message me and I'll give you special pricing. Or if you want to make a lot of these for the holidays or for a show, you want to message me and I'll tell you what, how I do that. Because you do a little differently in class. But this is if I'm doing them just to sell in the store. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, and to see how it's dripping down off the sides, that's fine. So you want to make sure you get on top of all the sea glass first. Same thing with the glaster piece. When I'm pouring for the glaster piece, I go over all the top pieces first, the higher pieces, and then it just falls down to the smaller. See that? I don't even have to go over the painted part. Isn't that pretty? I see a lot of you are on. Thank you. At the end, when we're all done, make sure you share this video. And every time you comment, and, every, and when you share this, I'm gonna put you in the drawing for the cup. So if I was doing the glaster piece, I would do the same thing. See the glaster piece? It would be laying flat on some cups. I would come over and I do all my high pieces drizzled first. Then it just sort of seeps down on all the other ones. So you're not wasting all that resin. It just sort of goes right into it and then I do it around the edges. So if you bought the glaster piece, and if somebody won a glaster piece, that's the way I would do that. I have all the resin online to purchase. It's the best resin out there, I promise you. I've tried them all. And I, trust me, I've made my mistakes. And look at how the arm pops once that resin gets on there. See the difference? How pretty that is? And see how it's just self-leveling out? There's no bubbles. There's no odor. So I didn't want to have to have that in the studio. In case anybody had any respiratory problems, you don't want to have that in your classroom. And I didn't even use four ounces yet. So really it's more like two and a half ounces. So you could probably get a lot from that eight ounce bottle. So I've used maybe, let's see what I've used here. I've used one and a half ounces so far. Pretty good, right? Yes, Miss Sherry, we're here. Okay, guys, and that's that. Isn't that pretty? So again, I do have the resin available. We have the eight ounce one, it's $30. The 32 ounce goes really far, it's 50. And then I have the gallon size if you're gonna be a teacher, instructor, you're doing a craft show. I'm here for you guys. Um, it's sherrysartstudio.com, has all the packets on there. If you want this packet, it comes with your cutout, the sea glass, the instructions for only $25. Oops, where am I? Can you see that? Not really. And then the paint set is 24. If you want more than one mermaid, they're only $7 and they come out so cute. And they're great for so many different things. I said classes, selling, gifts. And this is our cup giveaway one more time. It's really pretty painted inside and out. I love these cups, they're nice and big. And hopefully if you're around the Jersey area, you're gonna come see me in New Jersey on November 11th. I haven't been back to Jersey since we moved here. But thank you guys for being here today. It was a lot of fun. Share my video. And I'll catch you guys Wednesday morning. Love y'all. Bye.